So the purpose of this video will be to review how you can create a website platform in Odoo that both uh, accommodates regular retail customers as well as wholesale slash distribution customers. Um, <clears throat> the core of the experience, or I should say the real underlying difference of this experience almost always boils down to price, right? A retail customer is not going to buy a hundred or a thousand units and therefore um, you know, will usually buy a much smaller quantity and, and have a more transparent pricing structure. Whereas when you're in wholesale and distribution, um, the pricing model can, you know, change, right? There, it offers more scale. If you want to buy a thousand units, you may get them at a 20% discount or some other unit price. Um, and you probably don't want your, your end customers to have to, or your, I should say your retail customers to go through that experience. So let's look at how to set that up. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your settings and you're going to want to look at price lists and make sure that these are set up here where you have um, advanced price rules discount slash formulas it's very simple next thing um, from an app standpoint if you look at what we have installed i have it pretty simple here uh, we have website inventory invoicing sales accounting e-commerce etc and now once we have that let's actually go and create a quick product and i'll create a product called product x it will be a storable product i'll give it a SKU. I'll give it a unit price of $99 and um, just looking through here, pretty straightforward. I can um, save it as is. And then I'll go to my website in order to publish this or take a look at what it looks like on my, on my website today. And again, you can add an image and all that if you want by editing, but we're not, that's not the purpose of today's demo. So. <clears throat> Next, what I want to do is I want to go into incognito mode um, and I actually want to go visit this website as if I was some retail customer, right? At this point, if I go to home, I'm at the home of the website. If I look at shop, here I can see it's this product's available for $99 and again, of course, I can access it and add it to my cart, so on and so forth. Now. Let's say I want to create a unique experience for someone when they sign in my website, right? A wholesale company usually would visit your website, sign in, and once they're in, they would be recognized as, you know, maybe some specific tier of wholesaler or just a general wholesaler, and those custom pricing models would kick in. So how do you put that together in Odoo? Pretty simple. Go back here to the back end, and we're going to want to look at the price lists. And we can we have the public price list, which again is in the example I gave before. Uh, if you're a retailer, then you would use you know this would be your standard price list for anybody visiting your website. If we click create, and maybe here I'll say um, wholesale, and I can now build my price rules, and I can say um, if a customer purchases product X, and if they buy over 100 units of it. I will give it at a discounted price of 70, uh, at a fixed price of 75, or I can offer them a 10% discount on the $99 that we have uh, set as the actual core price here, the unit price or sales price. Um, or I can build in a formula, which essentially gets into discounting based on min, max margin, things like that. So I'll just keep this simple and say we'll give it to them at a discounted price of $75. should also mention we can specify start and end dates here. Uh, maybe you know, Black Friday or certain types of times of the year you want to offer certain discounts. Um, these can be kicked in via a price list rule. And you can see there's different options. All products, specific product categories, specific products, or variants of products. Now, once we have the wholesale price list set, um, you'll see you have two price lists. And we can have an infinite number of price lists, right? I could have wholesale level one, uh, which are our wholesale priority customers. And they may have their own set of rules. And right, you can have an infinite number of rules in order to really hone in and granulate uh, the pricing for that specific customer. So how do we create this experience for a client? Uh, it's very simple. When we go to our customers and we create, you will see under the sales and purchasing app, there's a field here called price list. So if I create a customer called Nicholas, uh, I'm going to actually create someone called John Doe. And I'm going to say John Doe is an individual. I can give John Doe an email. I'm going to use a real email in this case. And I'm going to assign John Doe 
to my wholesale price list. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click action and I'm gonna grant this wholesaler portal access to my website. I'm gonna apply it. And once I do that, John Doe would officially get that email. And that's where I'm gonna go back into incognito and I'm actually going to pull up my Gmail. And here you'll see when I open this up, um, if you want to change your, your password, yes, I want to create a new one. And I'll just create a simple password. Oops, if I could spell right. And it will log me in as John Doe. And now when I go to shop, I will see this is $99. But if I update my quantity to 75, or excuse me, I think I said to 100, it updates the price to $75, just like that. So these rules are automatically taken into consideration. Now, obviously you can edit the, you know, the interface here of this specific record, um, or I shouldn't say record, but of uh, the website, uh, this page to, you know, display or, uh, you know, provide a downloadable link uh, in order to, you know, explain the, the pricing structure for wholesalers and things like that. But you, uh, you should get the idea of how that unique experience is created. Of course, if I log out and if I go to shop and if I go add this product and if I add 110 units, the price stays 99 or 100 units, the price stays 99 because it doesn't recognize uh, that John Doe is the one signed in and therefore it doesn't take into account the custom pricing. So. That, in a nutshell, is how you can put together or differentiate uh, in a single website environment uh, two different uh, sales experiences, right, based on wholesaler slash retail or truly you know, an infinite number of sales experiences, given the fact that we can have an infinite number of price lists. So if you have any questions, um, if anything's unclear about how this works, feel free to reach out to me via my email below, and, and I'll be happy to explain in greater detail. Thank you.